Yo, what's going on, people? Before I begin, I'd like to give a shout out to a few people. Big Political 829, no, Renegal no, Harden, no, no, no. shout out to you, brother. Moha Mac. Uh, these two guys, uh, Moha Mac and Big Political 829, you know, they're, they're young brothers. They're young brothers looking for guidance and stuff. I welcome these guys to the channel. Uh, Ignorant Intellect, Roger Spice, David Bowman, Mr. Lemba, Ibmar One, One Man Army Against Racism, Naya713, The Famous Davis, Dark Tiger, Neck of the Woods, Vendetta P, Miracle 007, Straight Shooter, all you guys, uh, Black Cherubim, Sister Jinx, all of you guys, if I don't remember to shout you out, I'll shout you out in the next video. Uh, shout out to my man, Kid Organic, that's my dude right there. Now, I'd like to talk about this, um, I'd like to talk about this subject here of being the cleanup man. Now, Obsidian, shout out to GW3 Extreme. Check out his channel, that, that's a good brother there. But Obsidian has been relentlessly talking about not being the cleanup man. And I agree. I, I have no issues with, with what he, he says about not being the cleanup man. Now, I was listening to his podcast. I forget the name of it. One of his recent ones. And there was this guy called Sub-Zero something. And like he was really making fun of Obsidian. He's making fun of guys who do not want to go back to the black community to help out and stuff like that. And I vehemently disagree with this guy. And I disagree with anybody who thinks like him, this Sub-Zero guy. Now, there was, there's a story in the Bible about this guy called Adam, a female called Eve, and they were told not to eat an apple, a peanut, a piece of chicken, I don't know what it was. And Adam told this female not to eat of that tree, but she went and she ate of that tree. When Adam came and found her, she handed him this fruit or whatever it was. And he took part in eating this fruit. Now, when the Creator came, they had to explain themselves. And the Creator punished both of them. And the reason the Creator punished Adam was for one reason and one reason only. Because Adam was a sim. He should have left that female to her own demise. She should have faced the consequences on her own. But he went and he helped her. He joined in on it. So he had to face the consequences with her because he's a sim. And like my man, King Solomon said in Ecclesiastes that nothing is new under the sun. And Sub-Zero says that he is biblical minded and he follows the scriptures and a whole bunch of nonsense. He doesn't seem too intellectual to me. But Solomon says nothing is new under the sun. And if it was left to me, honestly, the black community would have a civil war and uh, I would be sure that we get rid of simps. I don't like simps. You have no idea how much I despise simps. I don't like feminists. I, I don't like these people. 
and homosexuality, I'm not down with that shit either. Okay? But I'm on the topic of simps right now. I hate them to the core. And the reason I hate them to the core is because they are the ones who give women out here a cushion, who gives them comfort to keep doing the bullshit that they do. It's these guys. They save these females from themselves and they save them from consequences and accountability. Now, I am not, I am not going to take my hard-earned money to pay for no man's kids. It's not, it's not fucking happening. Right now, I'm seeing these high school girls, they're walking in groups with some of the high school boys, and they're walking with the worst of the high school boys. I've seen this as a kid in high school in Jamaica. These females flock around the worst of the boys. Now, to be honest with you, when I was in high school, um, my mentality is gangster, right? But the thing is, I'm very intellectual. I can fit in with any crowd. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, Styles P had an album called Gangster and a Gentleman. Gangster and a Gentleman, that's, that's who I am. I'm pretty much hardcore, but I'm very intellectual. Well-spoken, well-mannered, and I'm very ambitious. There's a time and place for everything. So I know when to switch it on and switch it off. But these females that I've seen when I was going to high school and what I'm seeing right now as a grown man, these high school girls, they're flocking to these guys who do not know how to switch it off. They're flocking to these guys who are perpetually acting out the stereotypes of the little thuglets who have no manners, who love attention, who love to fight, who love to be mischievous. These females, in my days of being in high school, and right now I'm seeing these females in high school right now doing the same goddamn thing. Just like King Solomon said, nothing is new under the sun. Everything that is happening right now has happened before. So the cycle continues. So at what point do we stop this? Helping them is not going to work. What you need to do is you need to let them face consequences so they know not to do this and to stop this. Stop choosing these Negroes who are not going anywhere in life because a lot of these guys that they're chasing after or flocking around in high school, they're going to be the Negroes on, sitting at the, um, on the corner by the bodega, drinking 40s, buying Lucy's, looking to rob somebody. I know plenty of females, plenty of females right now who have like three children, two children. They've now seen the light. They're now looking for good brothers. They ditched their thug boyfriends because now they found out as soon as they got to 30 or they're, they're now 27 or 33 or whatever, they've now seen the light that, hey, I made a bad decision by fucking with these guys. But the thing is, they can get guys to fuck them, but they can't get guys to stay with them. Because brothers, in their right sense of mind, will not go and try to, 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 to support other people's children, to take up people's baggages. I'm not going to do it. I don't have kids. What the fuck am I doing with somebody else's kid? It's not going to work. Unless that female was married. If that female was married, then fine. And that's even, that's still sketchy. But I'll give her a pass for that. But if she was reckless with her pussy, if she had a reckless lifestyle, I'm not, I'm, I'm not putting on my cape for that. It's not going to happen. I remember, I 
think this was like in 2005, you know, I was looking at the community in Jamaica and I was saying to one of my friends, he, he's an he's a OG, taught me a lot. And I was like, yo, I want to help my people, you know, yada, yada, yada. And he was like, stop it right now. He said, stop it right now. Because he's a business owner. And he said to me, let them deal with their own issues. Because if you go in and you decide to help them, what's going to happen is these females, right? this was in 2005. I never knew what YouTube was in 2005. And he said to me, if you go in and help these people in the community, what's going to happen is they're going to see you as a fail safe. So they will continuously have children knowing that they have somebody they can run to who will help them. And the cycle will continue. And that's what he told me. And I never forgot that. So I say no. I say no. I'm not doing that. If these simps want to go in there and help these little nigglets and their trifling mothers, they can go. I won't stop them, but I'm not helping. You're not getting my money. You're not getting my efforts. I'm not helping shit. Good brothers should hook up with good women and create their own communities. I'm not supporting helping these people. No. No. Because if you help these females, they're going to turn around, they're going to continue to fuck these thug-ass dudes, create more thug-ass babies, and the problem will expand. So it's going to be a never-ending cycle. It's not going to stop. It doesn't make sense. So Sub-Zero, whoever you are, bro, I think you need to drink some coffee and try to sleep because your argument is bullshit. And I really think we need, we, we, need a, we need a civil war in the black community because I'm really sick of a lot of these people. I'm sick of the, the, the shaming tactic, trying to tell people that they're hurt, they're not a real man. Well, I'll be a walking mannequin if that's the case. If, if, that, if I'm not a real man because of how I think, hey, I'll be a walking mannequin because I'm not helping shit. Fuck y'all. And that's just how I feel. 